Merle Cocker Spaniels. So I have my two girls here. Tinkerbell is this tricolor black and tan and I don't know if you can see it very well but she has blue Merle. You can see it under her chin. You can see it right around her nose mostly and on her paws a little bit. And she has one eye with just a little tiny speck of blue in it. Taffy is also a Merle. Can you see any Merle? Nope, no Merle. So, but she does carry the Merle gene. So I was on a forum the other day and a lady had a Cocker Spaniel rescue dog who had been born in a puppy mill where they intentionally bred two Merle dogs together to try to get blue eyes. As a result, her dog was deaf, blind, and his legs were shorter than a normal Cocker Spaniels would be. Breeding two Merle Cocker Spaniels together is never, never a good idea. It is called a fatal mutation and the puppies will either all die at or shortly after birth or they will be um, deaf, blind, or have other birth defects. I love my Merles and people love the Merle coloring because they come in such fun colors. Uh, with the Merling you get tans and speckles and and grays and blues and so people love the colors but we as breeders need to be very very careful that when we are choosing dogs to breed together that we make sure that both parents don't carry that Merle gene the Merle gene is recessive, as you can tell with Taffy. She shows no signs of being a Merle, but she carries the gene. Tinkerbell, on the other hand, it's pretty obvious that she carries the Merle gene. So when I choose my male, I have to be as sure as I possibly can be that there is no Merle anywhere in his lineage. These guys make beautiful puppies. Um, she's retired. She's just my love bug now. She has a couple more litters in her and then she'll be retired as well. But I just wanted you guys to know if you're not aware of the Merle gene and its mutation um, that you educate yourself on it. It is a gene that is evident for as far back as they can find. They can't trace it to a specific dog or specific breed. Uh, it's in wolves and in most of our domestic breeds in one form or another, not all, but most. Um, and so to say that it's bad, I don't know if that's right. But in Cocker Spaniels and in several other breeds, if you breed two Merle dogs or two dogs with the Merle gene together, you get what is called a double Merle mutation. And it is quite often fatal to an entire litter of puppies. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the post below and we'll see you on the next one.